also not sure. Jim, Jim met Taryn a while back. He said, and then he mentioned that uh, he liked uh, her one film, some little short she made, uh, Shake. And showed it to me, and I was like, "Hell yeah, let's let's see if we can we can get on board." And um, yeah, the rest is history. So when I first heard the song, firstly I was um, amazed at Keenan's voice because I also had some background info that that was a one take wonder, oh. which which because the the song I received was not the final master. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so James sent me that and, and I knew it was in one take and I was like, God, <laughs> I, I want to be involved with whoever made that. <laughs> Jim thought this was, this was one of the songs that, that would uh, be a bit more commercially accepting because a lot of stuff is a bit indie. So uh, from there on he said, let's try and get, uh, let's try and get it into a video and then I'm sure Taryn can Elaborate on how we approached you with the, the, Well, the, he sent me the song first before I knew anything about what you wanted visually. And the song was a nice surprise because I liked it. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> Which makes the whole process a lot easier. Um, but to be honest, I like all the songs. <laughs> but yeah, it, was, it came about easily with a lot of flow just because I felt like I was behind the song, mm. which, I, which is important. Okay. Uh, usually when I start writing the songs, I write them as a story in my head. So there was, from the beginning, there was like a, with each verse, there's a little something visualized. And so yeah, there was a little bit of a, not, not, not exactly what she had planned, which was quite great, but you yeah, know, I had something in there, in, in mind. She took it to much more a visual approach, which I struggled with, because I was just like, okay, how am I going to do this line for that visual representation and she perfectly emulated into something that I could not think of at the moment but um, when I read it it was like yeah no no, no this is perfect it uh, brings the song to life in a way that I wanted but also that couldn't think of so that was that was great well you represent love I think in general and uh, the human experience of love yeah. I would say Both good um, and bad. Francis is love interest slash psychopath, <laughs> and Heinrich, Heinrich plays gas station guy, <laughs> and he plays it really well. Yeah. <laughs> so on the, on, on the day of the shoot, it was, well, I, I'd always remember it as one of the best days of my life, um, the, apart from the, the heat and the... Yeah, exhaustion. It was it was one of the awesomest experiences. Just seeing how it's done, seeing how it's all the work that has to be put into it. It was you know one of my highlights. Huh. Uh, working alongside Keenan is great because he approached everything with an openness and a, actually. The part that wasn't great was that he was too helpful because we were like, <laughs> get out of I the just sun. Yeah, I just wanted him to like sit in the shade, don't sweat, don't get sunburned, but he's so kind and helpful, he wanted to help everywhere. So, yeah. I mean, he's great to work with for that fact. Um, so that was great. Working with the cast was great. Francis is um, such a professional and a director's dream because she just took the character I gave her and... Yeah, she just illuminated it in a way I didn't even know I wanted, which is like, what more can you ask for? And Heinrich is a, the king of problem solving. <laughs> so he can do anything. <laughs> He's a jack of all trades, but also a master of those trades, which is annoying, but also very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, I mean, it was such a dream working with all of them. Yeah, I'd say my favorite scene to film would probably have been the, the live uh, uh, stage act where I'm, where I'm on the stage, but also just for the, like, the experiencing physical acting and whatnot, the, the, the couch scene, <laughs> which is quite interesting. But, but yeah, no, all in all, the, the way the, the, the stage performance came out was quite great. I liked that one a lot. Enjoyed it. Within the camera department, our DOP was Benan Person, who I work with, in, well, have been working with for about two years. 
Um, he's amazing and, and it was so nice to have his level of industry knowledge with us on set. I didn't know about all that. I went to go check him out afterwards. And yeah, said, Jesus, guys, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. And we were also really lucky to have Andrew Luscombe as our Steadicam operator because, I mean, he just having his brain to pick on set was great because uh, he knows so much. Mm. Um, but to have his level of skill as well was incredible. Like all the stuff we shot on Steadicam at the theater could have been the whole video. Yeah. Like if, yeah. if something happened to all the footage, we would have been fine with just those. A, because the your performance, performance was amazing, but also just because his skill as a Steadicam operator is just incredible. Um, and the rest of the crew were, were very nice friends. Yeah. <laughs> very nice, helpful Volunteers. people. Yeah. Great, yeah. <laughs> that were forced into it, but um, did it happily, and I'm very grateful for that. No, no, you got no. no, no, no.